Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a USB 3 card into a Dell R720. Um, so I basically have a bunch of virtual machines and some of them run backup tasks. And I'm basically backing up data from the virtual machine to uh, an external hard drive that's directly connected to the server. Um, and the first time I did this, there was a lot of data that needed to be transferred and it was taking forever. And it turns out it was because the R720 only had USB 2 slots. Um, so I did a little research and a lot of people recommended this StarTech brand. Um, so I picked this up for like $30. Uh, actually it was a Christmas present, but it was like $30 or $40. Um, and yeah, it's a PCI Express with two USB slots. So that it's PCI Express just means it's a little bit shorter. Um, and yeah, it was super simple. It was just basically plug and play, but I just want to give a little demonstration of it working. And then I'm actually going to uninstall it and take it out and put it back into the USB 2 slots and just show you how slow it is then. Um, and hopefully somebody will find this useful. Um, I kind of wish there was a little bit more uh, guidance out there on how to do this. I don't think Dell would recommend doing this, but uh, it seems to be working for me. So um, yeah, I just figured I'd make a video. So let's hop over to Proxmox. And this is just a hypervisor. So if you're, if you're familiar with ESXi or something like vSphere, this is just an open source. Uh, version basically um, and you see I have a bunch of virtual machines here this one in particular is running some backups it's just a Windows machine and you can see that I have these two USB devices attached to it so you're able to edit it and basically say um, you know what what do you want to pass into the VM um, <clears throat> so for now let's just go right into that uh, we'll just remote into that um, desktop and I'm just gonna demonstrate the copy speed right now. And I'll just show you that we actually see both external hard drives. So you can see here, I have two external drives attached and we've passed them to this particular virtual machine. Um, so I actually have this tape here that's about three gigs and I'm gonna copy it from this external FRAN backup to my desktop and we'll just demonstrate the speed of it all right, so it's really fast actually. <laughs> so that's super quick, actually a lot faster than I expected. So now I'm gonna actually uh, we'll pause the video and set up the camera again and I'm gonna show you the server and we're actually going to um, take out this card and do the same test. But first let me, I'm gonna shut this uh, virtual machine down. You know, actually I should probably shut down the entire server because we're going to have to open it up so let me shut this down shut down the whole thing all right so now let's go take a look at the r720 all right so here's the r720 and you can see kind of on the top that i have two external hard drives so one has um, an external power the other one's just a small portable one um, they're actually six terabytes and the other is five terabytes um, so like I said, they're both externally connected to this R720 and let's go take a look at the back. Alright, so here's the back. You can see that I have those two installed in that new PCI that I just installed. You can kind of see that it looks different and the original USB ports are right here. So what I'm going to do once this Proxmox finishes shutting down or this server starts is finished shutting down. I'm just going to open the case up, remove this, and put these two um, back into the USB 2. And we'll just take a look at how fast that goes. All right, so the R720 is off now, so I'm gonna pull the power uh, plug and pull these two USBs out. And you can see it's USB 3 because it's blue. And what I'm going to do now is pop open the R720 case and we'll take a look. So let's open this up. All right, so let's go take a view of this. All right, so at first, since I had never done this before, I wasn't exactly sure how the PCI worked. So it's actually not facing straight down, it's facing this way. So how did I even get this open? So you need to pull this little blue tab here, 
kind of just lifts out like that. And now we should be able to just pull this out. All right, so this is what it looks like. Let me try to get it in focus. There we go. So that's what the what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to just put this aside for now. Get this back in focus. All right, and I'm going to just close this for now. Put the case back on and then I'll restart it and I'll do that test again. Actually, let me plug the Alright, so that's back on, and let me just plug this stuff back in. So now I'm plugging them into the USB 2 slots in the bottom here. Power back in. Alright, and let me just go start it. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so the server has booted back up and Proxmox is back up and running. So let's go take a look at the uh, how slow the transfer is now. So if we take a look at Windows Server Sandbox, that's where I have these USB 2 devices. And let's RDP into that box. So let me connect here and that's okay. Um, so let's go to that same test file that we were copying. So tape three, we'll copy this. And if you remember before, it was like 500 megabytes a second or something crazy. Now it's much slower. Actually, yeah, it's, it's a lot slower. So 38 megabytes a second. That's actually not that slow, but <clears throat> we're going directly from USB to the uh, SSD. So this, um, the desktop's on a solid state, but when this was over, I was copying over the network, it was even slower. I was seeing like about 10 megabytes a second. Um, so you can you can see here already huge improvement. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, what I'm gonna do now is shut this down again and I'll get some footage of me actually putting the PCI USB card in and plugging it, the, the USB drives in. But you know, it's super simple, um, basically just plug and play, but I, I just wanna get some footage of, of me actually doing it. So. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're back in the back of the server. I just turned it off. So I'm gonna unplug the power and everything from it and open the case up again. So the first time you're doing this, you're going to have an extra um, most likely have an extra uh, basically metal um, not a case but a little thing protecting the PCI slots so as an example I'll just pull this one out just to show you what I did but basically you got to pull this blue thing up like I showed earlier it kind of just lifts straight up and this is where I originally had the USB 3 let's just take this out so this kind of just I just pushed it out there's no screws you just push it out and it comes out and see no screws or anything. And now I'm just gonna put in the USB three. So again, it looks like this. PCI Express. I'm gonna make sure the USBs are facing like that. Like that actually. So this time, why don't we go ahead and put it in the top row. Like that and just make sure it makes a nice connection with the PCI slot. So let me move this camera, try to get a better, better angle here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Try to focus it again. That's as good as I'm gonna get, but you can see here a normal PCI slot is like this long, but PCI Express, it only takes up a few slots. So basically just make sure you get it in there correctly don't force anything 
and it should fit nice and snugly like that. That's uh, snug enough for me, so I'm going to push put this back in. Actually, before I do that, let me replace the other thing that I had here for this guy. All right. Gotta play with this thing a little bit. Whoops. I think I might have bent this thing. It looks a little bent. Alright, so it looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and put the case back on. Alright, and we'll start it back up and just make sure it works. Alright, so we're back up and running. Let's go and do that test one more time. Um, let me just double check the options here. So, or if we go to hardware. We just want to validate that we see both USB devices and just make sure that you pick the right one. So I have a, a couple different drives. These two Seagates are the ones that I'm interested in. So just select them. So this USB by vendor, it's actually, it, it's showing you the name of the drive so you can find it that way. You can also specify what port you want to pass through, but I'm just going to keep it like that and make sure you check USB three and let's just make sure that it works. I'm going to do that same copy test again, and we should see it be really fast. So this VM just booted up, so it might be a little slow initially. All right, so we copied this tape three. So first of all, it's good that we see both drives there. If we, if the PCI express wasn't working, we wouldn't even see those. Um, and let me go ahead and paste it and we should see higher than 30 megabytes per second. So there we go, 130. I don't know how we saw like in the beginning it was like 500 megabytes a second. This is more what I was expecting. Uh, either way, much better than USB 2 and I'm definitely happy with this. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help, but yeah, just wanted to you know, make a video on this and just show that the Stargate or Star Tech is working. Um, I wasn't sure if it would, so if anybody else out there is uh, in the same predicament and looking for a USB 3 port um, or card, I recommend that. Uh, it's been working pretty well. Uh, all right. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.